Hello readers, hello from the lake. I wonder if you went to one lake this summer or maybe two lakes this summer or maybe more or maybe ponds. You know I love the ocean. I read lots of books by the ocean, um, but today I'm by Island Pond, which I think is technically a lake, but it's called Island Pond. I won't get into that. Um, I have a special book to share with you. Funny story, I read this book at Shelburne Farms one day and I recorded myself because I love this book and I love Shelburne Farms and so it was a good connection. And the video didn't take. I don't know what happened. Um, I think my phone ran out of storage. So this is take two of this story and it is called Love is All Around Vermont. And it makes sense that I came to somewhere that I love to read this book. And this book is written by Wendy Silvano Ooh, and it's illustrated by Joanna Churchinkowska. Ooh, I like that name. Oh, this must have been Stella's book. Look, she wrote her name all through the book. Here comes my nephew on a uh, water ski. There goes my dad and the kids. See him. Hey, nice job, bud. <laughs> it's cool you got to see that. Here is Love is All Around Vermont. Let's see if I can get through the book before they all come back and bombard me. Love is a feeling that comes from inside. Everyone feels it, it can't be denied. But how do we know that it's there? What's the clue? How do we see it and what do we do? Love's all around if you just pay attention. In people and places, too many to mention. Go look at the park, on the street, at the mall. You'll see love's all over. It's big and it's small. Here comes the boat again, do you see it? All around Vermont, in cars and on trains, in taxis and buses, on boats and planes, in Milton and Essex and Burlington too, you'll find there is love that will come into view. I know this building, the state house. Oh, there they are. You see the dog on the front of the boat? That's Luca. Right there on the lawn in Waterfront Park is a mom and her babe hearing songs of a lark. She swaddles him, cuddles him, kisses his ear. That surely is love. It's perfectly clear. At a store in Montpelier, a girl gets a bear. She squeezes him, squishes him, ruffles his hair. It's clear that she loves him. She's smiling and bright. She tucks him in softly and gently at night. I wonder if she went to the toy store in Montpelier. I've been there before. That same little girl the very next day sees a friend at her school who's too sad to play. So she sits down beside him and listens and shares, making sure that he knows she's someone who cares. That is so kind. There's the boat again. Now the boy who is sad feels much better, you see. So he runs home to play with McGee. They romp and they frolic, they fetch and they run. It's certain he loves him. They're having such fun. Do you have a connection with playing with a dog? You see how love travels when shared with a friend. If everyone shares it, it will never end. From one another, it spreads and it grows. You can't have too much love, as everyone knows. I love Vermont. An officer in Rutland who helps change a flat, a Colchester fireman who rescues a cat, the home team that makes the crowd cheer and clap, each moment has love, like a gift that you unwrap. There's a father who sits at the table each night, helping out with the homework to get it just right. He's tired and busy, but that's love, you know, giving up what you want to help someone else grow. It's not only people who show love, it's true. Just come see the creatures that play at the zoo. The polar bear tumbles and rolls with her cub, and when they are finished, she gives him a rub. We don't really have a zoo. It's love found at home. It shows up each day in things people do and things people say. There's no greater love, I can tell you it's true, than the love of your family, especially for you. Oh, look, there's someone behind me. Say hi to Grandpa. All right, I hope you enjoyed this story. Love is all around Vermont and getting a little glimpse into my crazy family. Talk to you soon, readers.